Now we go to the independent group where Deputy Catherine Connolly is sharing with Deputies Harkin and Collins. Gormagad, I have five minutes to Ciancorla, and I welcome opportunity to speak on this topic, and I support the intention of the motion, and I thank Sinn Féin for bringing it. But rather than focusing on temporary solutions, which are important to relieve the financial pressure, it's time to look at a new model. And we've been struggling with this, and Minister, if you're... you're, you're approach to early education is based on three strands that you're very familiar with and the first one was announced in 2009 and brought into being in 2010 then we had changes again in 19 and 21 we had the trinity of changes I, I, I acknowledge that I acknowledge the extra money put in but I despair at the continuous model of government in relation to childcare in relation to health in relation to housing the privatization of everything and the handing over of money to private providers and I I think it's time and absolutely essential that we change the model. And if we look at the, um, interestingly today, earlier on in the chair, I took particular notice of the Taoiseach's response. And he was um, rightly so saying, taking, uh, confirming that the Child Poverty and Wellbeing Programme Office had been set up in his office. And he goes on then to talk about six areas that they will focus on to take, to uh, have the greatest effect on the lives of children. And number two was early learning and child care. And yet we have a jigsaw approach to that over and over from definitely 09 and prior to that. Every election I've stood in, 11, 7, 16, 20, the major, major topics at the door was housing, health and child care. Nobody asked for taxes to be reduced. Nobody, when I knocked on a door, and practically as many as I could in Galway, nobody asked. What they asked were, were services. And I see the minister, a junior minister, looking at me, I'm sure it was your experience on the doors. They wanted services in return for taxes. And very helpfully, the library, as usual, has done a very good note. Back in 20, on the public provision of early childhood education, it's worth looking at. It's very short to report key messages Ireland has the highest level of private, of private provision of early childhood care and education, along with relatively low government investment, which I acknowledge has increased, low wages for educators and high fees for consumers. The available research has identified positive outcomes of public early childhood care programmes and the list out those a positive effects, which I might have time to mention. Um, the key challenges, of course, is a policy shift. And that's what we need from this government, which I don't think we're going to get, but I'll put my hands up and say, sorry if we do. We need a policy shift. We learned from COVID. We're supposed to be learning about transformational change and we have to stop the market approach. Of course, there's a place for the market, but the market has to be subservient to the common good. An essential childcare that allows parents to make decisions at affordable and accessible rates, I would prefer it free. We pay taxes for services. And so the library has carefully identified that Ireland is nearly bottom of the list. A 2019 European Commission report shows that the cost of EC, EC services for children under three in Ireland is among the highest in Europe. And it also highlighted that those countries with the highest fields all use market-driven mechanisms to provide the early childhood care and uh, services. We've had many protests uh, resting with last week's one. And I want to support those who are protesting and I absolutely recognise the problems that they have trying to, trying to survive. However, I don't think the solution is bits more money in the budget and the following budget. I don't think that's the solution. I don't think the motion put by Sinn Féin is the solution either, although I'm, I'm without hesitation supporting it. We need public childcare. You know that, Minister. We need it in so many areas. The elderly have been mentioned already. And what the market has done, the marketisation, is reduce the choices available to people, made them more expensive in every single service that we provide, nursing homes. We have a complete reversal. It used to be 80-20, 80, 20, 80 public, publicly owned. Now it's less than 20. And 3.5% of those, I was reliably informed today, with nursing homes are for private, um, not for private. Profit, and they are struggling and all of the time with with HAP with the various subsidies that we're doing in housing and so on we are absolutely supporting a market that has utterly failed and does not put the common good to the fore. Thank you. Thank 